JMO230 or Jess, who lives in Maine, USA, works as a nurse at a psychiatric hospital. She's covering the night shift all by herself and things are pretty slow until she suddenly notices something that didn't look quite right. She grabs her phone and hits record. Okay, there's nobody here, right? Nobody here. What is that? Because it is not me. This is me leaving, closing the door. What's that? And here comes the door back opening. And nobody's there. But yet. Looking up at the convex safety mirror in the corridor outside her workstation, Jess sees what looks like a shadowy figure reflected right back at her. And yet, there doesn't seem to be anyone else around. So, just what exactly is this? Not much is known about this clip, other than what Jess herself has told us. But according to her, she believes she caught a ghost on camera that night. But what do you think this is? Is it a ghost as Jess believes? Let me know down below. If you're a fan of scary videos, make sure you subscribe and hit the bell icon so you don't miss any future uploads. Rafaela Cortez is a Chilean woman living in Ireland. Working in housekeeping, she often chats with her friends on the phone to pass the time while cleaning guests' rooms. Everything is going as it should, and Rafaela is just about to finish cleaning a bathroom. Feeling accomplished, she snaps a quick photo in the mirror to send to her friend. However, this seemingly innocent photo is not what it seems. Look closely. Yeah. Voy a mostrar la foto. Antes de decir que esta foto se la mandé a mi mejor amiga. Mi mejor amiga siempre está al tanto de todas estas cosas. O sea, mi mayor testigo es mi mejor amiga. <risa> Pero esta foto literalmente a todos nos dejó así, choqueados. Porque se ve literalmente la persona en su máximo esplendor. O sea, o sea esa silueta se logra ver casi perfecto. Como pueden ver acá en la foto, acá estoy yo. Para mi amiga hacer una foto literalmente foto para el whatsapp y yo no me percaté de esto yo no me percaté de eso yo saqué la foto me puse a limpiar el baño porque uso guantes para limpiar los baños entonces saqué la foto me puse los guantes y de ahí no agarré más ese lado y después me puse a ver la foto creo que la melissa me dijo así como oye qué onda la foto y yo la vi y quedé así choqueaba y lo prometo por mi abuelita por mi gatita que falleció que no es mentira Rafaela's eagle-eyed friend spots a silhouette in the glass door of the shower, almost as if someone or something is standing inside of it. But there's no one there. Rafaela's friend immediately replies to her, alerting her of the presence of the shadowy silhouette. But when Rafaela checks, whatever her friend saw seems to have disappeared. De hecho, esa foto nos dejó a todos chequeados, o sea... La gente de la estación de policía me decía, es que es imposible. Yo decía, ay no, es imposible. Pero no sé cómo pasó, no sé en qué momento pasó, no sé por qué no la vi antes. O sea, no me fijé, mandé la foto y listo. O sea, como que no me preocupé de la foto hasta que mi amiga me dijo, hey, ¿quién está en la foto? Y tengo un video. <risa> tengo un video del lugar porque un amigo me decía así como, pero es imposible. Yo, no sé, pero es como un misterio. De hecho, el video está en inglés, pero lo voy a poner igual para que vean como el lugar. When I close the door, if someone stay inside, is, do you know, like, can I see, can I see everything for the woman, or for the man, I don't know, but I think so, it's just a mystery. So, if the shower is empty, just what is this? Rafaela and her friend, as well as several of her viewers, think that whoever or whatever this is, is something paranormal. But what do you think this is? Share your thoughts below. 
This next creepy video was shared to the R Dogman subreddit by Reddit user LazyBrother1436, who thinks their house is cursed. According to the OP, the property has a deeply tragic past. Both of their grandparents and their sibling sadly passed away inside the house. Most recently, the OP's husband was involved in an accident just yards from the house and he had to be rushed to hospital. Since their husband returned from the hospital, the couple have been unable to shake the feeling that something isn't quite right. Creepy and unsettling events keep occurring in the house. Even the family dog inexplicably barks as if she is trying to warn her owners of an imminent danger. Late one night, while the OP was relaxing at home, they heard a terrifying scream coming from their backyard and their dog alerts them to something. Wanting to record the evidence, the OP starts recording on their phone and what they caught has left Redditors terrified. A pair of glowing red eyes can be seen staring in through one of the windows, just watching the OP from the darkness. Apparently, this isn't the first time the OP has seen these eyes before, and it has led them to believe that they are being haunted by something. But what's your verdict on this? Is Redditor Lazy Brother 1436 really being haunted? And if not, just who or what do these glowing red eyes belong to? Let me know. Gwaini Rubio was looking through some old family photos one night when one in particular catches her eye. The photo in question shows Kwani and her family standing outside an old church. At first glance, the photo looks normal. But when Kawani looked a little closer, she was shocked beyond words. Kawani decides to share it to her social media page in the hopes that someone can provide her with answers. Teve uma época que eu morava no interior de Minas Gerais e morava eu, minha mãe, minha irmã e meu padrasto. Começou a acontecer umas coisas muito bizarras, muito estranhas mesmo no nosso apartamento. A gente morava no 12º andar e tava tipo uma loucura, a gente já não sabia mais o que fazer. Minha mãe tava com tanto medo que ela colocou grade na janela, com medo de acontecer alguma coisa com a gente, né, comigo e com a minha irmã. Tá, aí chegou um belo dia, a gente decidiu ir pra Tiradentes, uma cidade, né, famosa pela sua história, ela é bem antiga, é, tem, tem, tem muita história mesmo pesada, né, tanto que o Tiradentes, o médico, o dentista, morreu lá, né, enforcado na praça pra todo mundo ver, enfim. É uma cidade que quando você chega, gente, você já sente o clima pesar de uma forma, digo, e... A gente foi visitar uma igreja, a mais famosa, uma amarela que tem lá. Quando a gente chegou nessa igreja, antigamente eu não sabia. Era muito comum que os cemitérios, eles, é, eles existiam do lado da igreja, literalmente do lado, tipo no quintal. As pessoas eram enterradas na igreja, praticamente, no quintal da igreja. Eu não sabia disso. Tiramos uma foto de frente à igreja. Gente... Olhem a foto. Olhem essa foto. Basicamente não tem nada, né? A minha irmã é essa primeira, minha mãe a segunda, eu de saia rosa horrorosa e minha prima. Não tem nada, né? Agora eu vou sair daqui. Gente, foquem aqui no lado esquerdo da minha irmã. Eu vou ver se eu consigo dar zoom. 
bem na porta da igreja. Eu vou colocar essa foto. Gente, eu morro de medo disso. Foi meu padrasto que viu na época. Eu vou mostrar. Gente, vocês estão vendo? Pelo amor de Deus. Eu mostrei pro meu professor de física. Ele não conseguiu falar. Não, não tem nada refletindo pra ser um, um reflexo de alguém. Gente, olha isso. Olha a cara, parece os Volturi. Olha aqui, olha a cruz no meio. Vocês estão vendo a cruz no meio? Aqui, a cruz. Tem uma cruz aqui. Cadê? Aqui embaixo. A mão. Olha a mão. Olha esse rosto com esse olho olhando diretamente pra cá. Gente, vocês estão vendo isso? background of Kawani's family photo, a translucent, human-like figure can be seen just standing there. Commenters on this video believe that Kawani inadvertently caught a ghost on camera. But what do you think? Is this a ghost? Comment below and let me know. This next creepy video comes from the popular urban exploration channel Finders Beepers History Seekers and it has been shared before but no other channels have featured it recently. In the video, Matt and Andy explore an old abandoned farmhouse somewhere in Yorkshire, England. Matt's dog Bear joins them with a GoPro strapped to his back and a light attached to his collar. As soon as the trio enter the old farmhouse, Bear begins to act a little bit different. He anxiously runs around, with his nose pressed against the ground, as if he's caught the scent of something and he's trying to find it. Little do Matt and Andy know. Bear, go find it. Go find it. Find it. Where is it? There's something weird about this place. I feel like we've just had the worst start to a video ever. Because Bear's just all over the place and I don't know what you're doing snorting up. Oh, I noticed cupboards to be fair. What we got in here? We've got not very much in the bottom. Is there anything in the... What with that? Are you like a whistle? Where's Bear? Bear? <whistles> My concern is that... Oh, he's upstairs. Bear? 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 Oh, he's coming now. That worried me. I thought he'd hurt himself or something, or... I don't win, Yeah. You little fool. There's something going on with you today. Unless he's caught something. After Bear disappears upstairs for a couple of minutes, Matt and Andy start to feel concerned when they can't find him. Suddenly, they hear him barking and whimpering from upstairs, but when he joins them, they assume all is well and carry on with their exploration. But while they sift through a pile of old books in one of the bedrooms, Bear sneaks off again. I'm gonna have a quick look on this bed, see if I can find anything else. Rabbit. What is he? What you found? I wonder if there's someone outside. Matt and Andy hear Bear barking upstairs again. This time, the pair decide to follow Bear upstairs. Is he? Like, is it out of a bathroom or something? Like an old bathroom cabinet. Unless we've got the USB thing. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, it's a lock. Yeah. Is it side? It's supposed to be sideways, that's why. It goes sideways. Yeah, no, you like turn the whole thing yeah. though, don't you? And then that's, why has that got a lock on it though for a bathroom cabinet? That makes no sense at all. Someone has definitely just run down those stairs. After a thorough search of the ground floor, none of them find anything, but then Matt remembers the GoPro strapped to Bear's back. They decide to check the footage, and what they find creeps them the f out. We can watch his footage back. I'll have to do it on his camera. Yeah. Come on. 
hiding underneath one of the beds, staring right back at him. Matt and Andy decide to check out the bedroom where the person was spotted. Absolutely shit in my pants. But yeah, we'd come up here and whoever it was, from what I can see, I don't even go downstairs ever again. I'm living up here now. Yeah, it's here, look. They've been under there. Whoever it was was under that bed. Andy, what do we do now? This is horrible, Andy. I can deal with spooky, ghosty things, but real people... People are just unpredictable. If they're laying under a bed in an abandoned house, there's something not right in first place. If Bear hadn't alerted us to it, what would happen when we came upstairs? God knows. That's that's the thing that worries me. Somebody on the bed has just jumped out and grabbed me. Yeah, it's grabbed your legs from under bed. It's like every child's nightmare, isn't it? Oh. <laughs> Trust me, I'd, I'd, I wouldn't have been here. I would have been booting him in the head. There'd have been an Andrew shaped hole in the door. <laughs> trying to get out, honest to God. Oh, I wouldn't have about. Forget it. This scary moment has left Matt and Andy and their viewers creeped out. And as Matt says, if Bear hadn't been with them that night to warn them of the potential danger, who knows what could have happened. Thankfully, Matt, Andy and Bear all made it out safely. Gracie's Arts and Supper Club is a fine dining restaurant in the city of Valletta, Malta. The restaurant regularly posts their promotions, events and new dishes to social media, like many restaurants do. However, late one night, one of the restaurant's CCTV cameras captured something which the owners can't explain. They decided to upload it to the restaurant's social media and it quickly gained traction. Here's the footage. Captured on the restaurant's CCTV camera in the middle of the night, a translucent figure can be seen walking down the stairs before it disappears into thin air. Commenters on this video were left spooked by this clip, with many not surprised due to the history of the restaurant's location. However, some just weren't convinced, claiming that the restaurant did this as a publicity stunt. But what do you think? Ghost caught on camera? Comment below with your thoughts. The next creepy video for today comes from the popular ghost hunting channel, Franco TV. In the video, Frank conducts a paranormal investigation at a huge cemetery somewhere in Florida, USA. The cemetery is the subject of several local legends, most notably that it is haunted by the ghost of a vengeful old lady who passed away in tragic circumstances. Not long after beginning his ghost hunt, Frank begins to hear strange noises and things get creepy from here. So I don't see that. I just heard a noise up there. Oh my God, this is gonna be awesome. Something moaning or crying on the outside or someone yelling. It's about like one or two right now. So I don't know who's going to be moaning and yelling and it's just echoing into this location. Frank hears what sounds like crying or moaning coming from somewhere in the darkness. Despite the chilling atmosphere, Frank continues his exploration when a sudden metallic clanging draws his attention and he hurries to investigate. He finds himself looking right at the tomb of the old lady who is said to haunt the cemetery. And this is where things start to get really creepy. I did hear like a sound of a metal hitting further back there, but nothing. It scared me enough to just run up here to look. I'm looking at the old lady tomb right now and I see something. I'm gonna switch to color mode. Right now I'm looking into the room. I know it looks a little bit grainy. I'll go ahead and turn on the light. What is that? When I turn on the light, and I turn it off 
looks like there's something just standing there. I'm getting eaten alive by these mosquitoes. See it? It's like right in there. It just looks like something dark. I'm gonna go ahead and turn on the light again. It could be just a gate. I'm not sure, but it looks like something's standing there. Frank's thermal imaging camera picks up the heat signature of something in the entrance to the old lady's tomb. But when he switches to a different setting and shines his flashlight in the area, there's nothing there. Moments later, Frank gathers his courage and enters the tomb, bringing a bunch of sage incense to purify the area and an ovulus, a device that detects fluctuations in the electromagnetic field and translates them into words. Devices at the ready, Frank ends up capturing this. Is there anyone out here with me that would like to talk? Dangerous. Dangerous. The device utters the word dangerous, but that doesn't deter Frank. He continues on with his investigation, asking more questions. The name Jones comes through Frank's device, and then, not long later, Frank comes across this. I just realized that right over here says Jones, and Jones is the name that the, the, the ovulus was just talking about. Is your name Jones? Hold on, let me see if I can lower the brightness on this thing. Listen. Found me. Found me. This thing just said found me. The ovulus says the words found me, thereby suggesting something truly chilling that Frank is communicating with the spirit of the person buried in the grave bearing the name Jones. Throughout his time inside the tomb, Frank says he's been hearing a helicopter circulating in the sky. Thinking that it might be a police helicopter searching the area for a criminal, Frank feels a bit on edge. And that's when he spots movement in the distance. I could see somebody towards the statues, way out there. Far in the distance, Frank's night vision camera catches a mysterious white figure wanting to get a closer look. Frank makes his way towards it, and maybe he shouldn't have. I'm gonna turn on my flashlight. I don't even see them. Wait, I think I do. Look. Freaking light, there we go. Way up there. They're just walking back and forth. I want to make sure there's nobody else around. Oh, sh that looks like the fucking run. That. There's somebody fucking running. Oh. Holy shit. I am now making my way towards the front. That was the creepy shit I've ever seen. I don't know what that was. I thought it looked like a crackhead or some sort of homeless person out there but when I saw that thing running towards me that freaked me the hell out. All of a sudden whoever Frank was approaching notices him and begins to run straight at him and Frank flees in fear with whoever this is still chasing him. Luckily Frank makes it back to his car and drives out of the cemetery. Now whether or not the figure Frank captured on camera was anything paranormal is up for debate but suddenly the first word the ovulus said seems shockingly relevant. 
dangerous. So what or who was this Frank captured on his night vision camera? And was there a spirit in the tomb that was trying to warn Frank before it was too late? Or was it all staged? As some of you like to mention in the comments whenever I post a Franco clip, I do read every single comment. Let me know. The final clip in this week's video was posted to the internet by Hannah Holloway after she started seeing something creepy in her apartment. Whenever Hannah tried to record a selfie, someone or something creepily appears behind her. She can see it on her phone screen, but when she looks behind her, no one's ever there. This went on for several weeks, but then one night, Hannah manages to capture whatever has been lurking behind her on camera. Okay, I am recording this to see if anyone can help me. I started seeing it a few days ago when I got back from my mom's house. I first thought it was a shadow or I thought it was just something that like wasn't there. And now I'm pretty sure it's in here with me. So I'm gonna see if I can get it on camera, okay? So I'm just gonna be talking and seeing. Okay, I'm pretty sure I got it, but I'm gonna check. Okay, I definitely got it. So the the weird thing is is that if I if I don't check on it every so often it starts this As Hannah is recording a video, someone or something can be seen standing in the darkness right outside her door, staring eerily at her. Creeped out, Hannah checks the footage and then tapping can be heard behind her. She turns the camera and what looks like a hand can be seen tapping on the door frame. The video then ends shortly afterwards. Now, viewers' opinions of this video are mixed. Some believe that Hannah is being haunted by something evil, but others are pretty sceptical and believe Hannah staged the whole thing for internet fame due to how scripted it feels and how quickly the video cuts off. But ultimately, what's your opinion on this video? Is Hannah being haunted or was it all just for views? You tell me. Thank you so much for watching today's video. If you're a fan of scary content, make sure you check out either of these two videos here. And if you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button and subscribe so you'll never miss any of our weekly uploads. See you next time.